let's just think about weathering and erosion for a second. Look at all of these little holes. Now I showed you a similar type of weathering previously in Cambodia at Angkor Wat. This is the, the salt water weathering. As the rain settles on here and then the water evaporates, it leaves behind tiny, tiny salt crystals. And those salt crystals build up and they start to push apart very, very small fragments of stone. And then over many, many years, those little tiny fragments of stone are pushed further and further across and broken off. And this is what we get. Lots of little, little small holes. You can sometimes, you could look at this and you could think, well, is this an example of the chemical weathering taking place from, from acid rain? But if it was from acid rain, we wouldn't get the, the holes through it so much like this. Um, in the same way, what we would get is the whole of the surface being worn away rather than holes all the way through it. And it's much more pronounced here. And you can see the, the, the way the water is channeled over the top of the rock and around the rock uh, and where the salt has been deposited. <laughs> so that is what the rock should look like, the original, in this case, 900 years old rock. And then these are what the reconstructions look like.